After working with him on squad, it's it's great to get back on set with him again. I mean, we became friends and we got a shorthand now, and it, it's he's got so much experience as is uh, an actor. Uh, he elevates my game, and I think I do the same for him. Yeah, it, it's being able to take kind of these these fantasy elements and then and then ground them in in a world that's got a little hard edge because our world is pretty tough today, and and so it, it I feel it made. Uh, made the world more realistic by, by being able to be kind of honest with it. The, the chemistry they had is incredible. I mean, I didn't know if the movie was going to work until I actually got them together and we did a camera test. And I couldn't stop laughing behind the monitor because it, at the end of the day, it, it, it's so much fun just to roll in the car with these guys together. Netflix let me made, make the movie I wanted to make and they let me have my voice as a director. And, and part of that is giving you the resources you need to make your movie. So it really was one of the best experiences I've had. This is my first premiere in London, so I'm really excited to be here. And uh, this movie is insane. I can't wait for everybody to see it here. We just had the one in LA, and now we just flew here for this one. And, and you guys are doing a real, real good job. This is massive. I love it. It is one of the best relationships to be caught on film. Honestly, I mean, I don't want to give a spoiler alert, but Jacoby in this movie, played by Joel Egerton, is like, is is heart wrenchingly sweet and such an underdog. And you root for him and you love him. And I mean, I love Will to death as my husband, you know. But Joel really, he steals the movie in a way that that you have to watch to understand. David does such an incredible job of mixing this like intense action constantly with humor and it's like the action takes energy out of you when you're watching a movie you're just like oh god they did oh wow that happened and then the laughter feeds you and replenishes this kind of like resilience that you as a viewer have to maintain through this film because it's so intense and it's there's so much going on all the time it's like it's the perfect balance this is history right now. We're making history. This movie is going to drop in everyone's home globally on the same day at the same time. And the fact that everyone, no matter what, can have access to that, if they have Netflix, then it's, it's a big deal. It's never been done before. I read the script and it, and it, and it was truly, as, as Will kind of perfectly sums up, it's, it's sort of like, Training Day meets Lord of the Rings. And, uh, you know, it's sort of characters from Lord of the Rings infused in, in a kind of a modern alternative to South Central Los Angeles in this buddy cop movie. It had such a connection to what's going on in, the, in society today, uh, particularly in America with, with police violence and racial tension and all that stuff in a, in a kind of a fantasy realm that allowed it to be obvious and simple uh, and uh, and yet be about entertainment as well. It was all too many weird and poignant and fantastic elements all wrapped into one. When you love the movies you make, you know, you have an enthusiasm to promote them and, and Will really is true to that. Like he loves pushing the movie out into the world and he loves the fans and he appreciates the reason that his career exists in full is because of the fans and he's uh, he's a real rare uh, movie star and, and you've got to respect that and I really love him for that. It's a big movie, This is Netflix is flopping out um, a big budget movie for the first time, I think it's their biggest budget uh, you know, sort of almost like a tentpole movie, um, proving to them, proving to the world how bold and brave they're being with their the kind of position they they're holding in the industry right now. I'm very happy. I, I arrived this morning. I'm proud. I live in London. I'm proud to be home. Um, and and this movie, it's fun. It's different. It's, uh, it's very unique, so it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big night for us. This is a film you can see over and over and you will discover different layers and, and it's like, there's a lot of messages in it that is kind of hidden. It's not too on the nose because it is like 
first of all, it's a fun, intense ride. Raw, you know, it's a huge, it's very, it's funny. You know, I was laughing a lot. We live in kind of complicated times and it's easy to kind of just always blame others. And, and I think, you know, the more we separate people um, and, and, you know, judge people depending on their skin tone or religion or whatever, the bigger the gaps will become. So I think this movie is really important as well. So that's also David. He, you know, he, he comes into a new room and he takes it in and he, he adjusts and he adapts into it. So he's, he has this amazing talent between being like very well prepared and knowing what he wants to do, but still be very open. Things are changing. I believe in change. And I love that it's kind of beautifully kind of democratic, that people that don't have a lot of money, you can go to someone's home, you can watch it together with your friends, with your family, you can watch it again and again and again. Um, so I'm, I'm happy to be a part of this. I've been describing it kind of as, if you think training day, like this hard, gritty, LA cop drama uh, meets Lord of the Rings, you know, where it's like this mashup, you know, there, you, you get these you, grimy uh, LA cop scenes, but there's orcs and fairies and there's a dragon, you know? So it's like, you know, you never really, you haven't seen this movie before. This, was, this is a, a really interesting mashup. It was probably nine weeks that I didn't see Joel's face. So when, it, like, when we were about to wrap the movie and I finally saw his face, uh, you know, he could, because he had three and a half hours worth of makeup every day, he was there before I got there. So by the time I got there, he had the makeup on and then he had an hour every night to get it off. So I literally didn't see his face for nine weeks and I kind of developed a relationship with Jacoby. You know, it was, uh, you know, I think he did a brilliant job and even the makeup people to have the, the, the prosthetics to be able to articulate. David Ayer didn't want to use um, special effects. He didn't want to use CG. He wanted to actually have the, the, the makeup and the, the, the practical effects, and I think it uh, did a lot, and Joel, he, he came through it hard. Oh, no, this is great. I, we should probably just in the future do these indoors in December. For the December re releases, we're going to do indoor premieres. Hey, London, I appreciate you. Nothing but love. Bright, December 22nd, worldwide. And uh, thank all of the, the fans for standing out in the cold. I appreciate y'all.